Hello, welcome to Microfluidics. My name is Kyle Jandrositz and I am one of the applications research engineers here. Today we're going to talk about processing a squalene nanoemulsion through our microfluidizer. The squalene nanoemulsion simulates a popular vaccine adjuvant. The formulation is made up of a water phase and an oil phase, both containing a surfactant. Each phase will be prepared separately and combined into a premix via rotor stator. The premix will be processed on the M110P microfluidizer processor and through the F12Y H30Z interaction chamber configuration at 30,000 psi for four passes. The core technology of a microfluidizer is its interaction chamber. Here we'll be using a Y-type chamber, which is ideal for emulsions and other liquid-only formulations. The key features of our interaction chambers are the consistent processing, offering repeatable results because of its fixed geometry, with no moving parts, ensuring that every microliter gets the same treatment, long wearing because the chamber is made out of either diamond or ceramic materials, ease of maintenance, offering the ability to both clean in place and steam in place, and many different options available, offering both variable size and shape. The graph at the bottom illustrates a comparison between the microfluidizer processor and other shearing technologies. As you can see, the microfluidizer processor is capable of producing an order of a magnitude greater shear rates than any of these other technologies. This next slide shows why microfluidics guarantee scale up and how the microfluidizer can easily achieve this by placing more of the same microchannel in parallel. By doing this, the microfluidizer can achieve the exact same velocity profile, shear rate, and impact force at flow rates of tens of liters per minute. Because the microchannels have a fixed geometry, all of the process development can be performed at the lab scale, and the final formulation can be easily transferred to a production scale. Next you will see a demonstration of the squalene nanoemulsion being processed on the M110P microfluidizer processor. Hi, welcome to the Microfluidics Technology Center. I'm Kyle Janersitz, and today we're going to process on the M110P microfluidizer. We're going to process a squalene emulsion through a Y-type chamber. We turn on the microfluidizer, pull the premix into our inlet, and we'll process for up to four passes at 30,000 psi. After four passes, the microfluidizer was able to achieve a D50 of 114.2 nanometers. We hope you enjoyed this video and invite you to contact us to set up your own proof of concept testing with your own formulation.